What's up, guys? So uh, today I'm going to be showing you the uh, the brown and the Cuban brown, um, aka the invasive of Florida that's taking over the place and it's probably going to end the world. The uh, the brown and the Cuban brown. So he's not going to let me touch him because he's running everywhere. Here we go. So there you go. This is a Cuban brown. They got a. He actually has a longer tail. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, that's him. They are real dull brown, but they can change. I mean, some of them get like a uh, get like these crests and stuff on them, like like their uh, the back of their head, almost like a basculus does or a basilisk. I mean, um, some of them are all black and have almost like yellow spots on the sides of them. They go through different color changes too, but not not as much as a green anole does. Now, a green anole will sit on something brown and turn brown. Turn something green, turn green. Sit in something blue and turn like a turquoise almost color. They, they're pretty sweet. Now these guys are like, I'm brown in every way, and I mean they'll fluctuate the browns. They're pretty much like, you try to touch me, I'm just gonna attack you. I mean these guys have horrible attitudes. This guy's cool because I've had him for a little while, and he's uh, he's kind of chill, you know, not as much. But it's a uh, it's a Nola Ser or Sagri, a Nola Sagri is the is a Cuban brown, and uh, just like the greens, okay. They feed on mostly insects. They, they're about the same size. These guys get a little bit bigger, stockier. Um, I think of them almost like a tegu. Now, a tegu is another invasive that's in, in southern Florida, and they uh, they're nothing to mess with. I mean, they get the size of like a like a cat. You know what I mean? They're like they're like iguanas, but like on steroids. They don't get as long. They get like three feet or four man three feet about you know two and a half three feet. They're like this, and they're just bulky. You know what I mean? They're very very they're bad. They're not good. They're like a mutant groundhog. But a lizard so but that's not this guy this guy's uh it's a little cousin you know what i mean but uh what can i say i mean they're they're pretty lizards i mean they look nice you know what i mean they're easy to find florida all over the place running on the sidewalks they live in now they're arboreal as well they live in trees um but they'll go down on the ground and they'll run on the ground too and make little burrows and stuff um, I have a female I'm about to show you, and it's she's actually grabbed it, so I gotta be careful with her, and that means pregnant. She has two eggs in her right now, and uh, she'll be laying sometime in the next week or so. But uh, which is also exciting. I'm pretty excited for that. But uh, yeah, like him, and just like the other green anoles, he doesn't show right now because he's not trying to uh, show off to anybody. But they have that little flap. I'm gonna need to get the name of that. I'll put it in the description uh, underneath their chin. That is just the same. You know, what's up, females? You know, you want some of this or Guys, you want some of this? You're, you're, you're messing up, you know what I mean? You're on my territory. Come on, man. Do you want to let me put you away? So anyway, let me get that female out for you. She's uh, she's very energetic, you know. So I'm going to grab her. So here. Here she is. All right, now they have a stripe. Females have stripes on their back, almost like a diamond pattern, okay? Um, that's her. I'm trying to get a... Uh, a good view she likes to move around though um they got real real narrow small heads and they got like a, a real stocky fat body now she's gonna have an extra fat body she's a little girl because uh she has eggs now i mean you're probably thinking oh no she's, her eggs are gonna die like no these guys are i mean she's fine but like i said the way you can tell the difference in these guys is that guy is gonna be more of a dull one color usually these girls all the girls have the stripes on their back some excuse me some are more defined than others but uh that's that's the uh universal look <laughs> so to speak you know of these guys so anyway like i said anola sagri is uh the, the the cuban browns and these are the invasive these are the ones that came across the ocean and are here now and they're uh breeding like mice you know they're they're going crazy but you know what i love all reptiles and i love these guys too so <clears throat> I'm excited to be able to make a video with them. So when I uh, when she has her babies or when they hatch or the eggs, the whole process, I'll get that on uh, on camera. So I'll take pictures, you know, of, of the babies and stuff and post them. Like I said, everything's in, the, in in my Facebook, so I'll be doing that there. Check that out. So there we go, Cuban Browns. See you in the next video.